Hello everyone and welcome to my new GIMP tutorial. I've received a lot of requests to uh, do a new tutorial for uh, the newest version of GIMP which is 2.6 so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Um, this is going to be um, a little faster than my previous tutorials. Um, I, I've simplified my method a little bit that way it's, it's easier to understand for uh, newcomers to the techniques of uh, creating this effect. Um, we're going to be starting off with this image right here. Um, there's a link for it in the description. So if you want to uh, download this and uh, kind of follow along while we do this tutorial, um, that works. Um, so you want to zoom into the area that you're going to be working on just so you can get the best, um, I guess, pixel uh, accuracy. Um, and what you're going to do is uh, say layer, new layer. Um, we're going to call this uh, blade one. Um, because there's two blades in the scene. I'll probably just do one blade for this tutorial, but um, yeah, um, select transparency, uh, click OK, and now you have a new layer on top. Uh, what you want to do next is say select all, and make sure you have blade one selected when you do that. Okay, go to your paint bucket and select black and fill that up. So now your blade one layer is black. Uh, say select none. And then go over here and select your blade one layer, do the drop down here, and select screen. And now, um, basically, you're looking through the blade layer. What the screen mode does is it turns all color objects into light objects. So um, they're not able to occlude anything. And that's kind of a technical thing, so I won't really go into it. But um, that's, uh, that's what makes this whole thing work. Uh, so next, you're going to select your um, free select tool up here and you're going to go ahead and select your lightsaber. So click down here at the first corner, drag up to the top, go over, and just do kind of the cleanest uh, selection you can. And that looks pretty good. Then go over here to your bucket. Once again, make sure you have your blade layer selected. And we're gonna fill the core of the lightsaber with white. So click there, and now say select none, okay? So now we're just going to get these pixels of the blade layer to match the pixels of the background layer. So we're going to go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And I would say, this is kind of an estimation, that these would be about a blur of one. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And it matches the uh, pixels that you see here. That's kind of important for image blending, just so it looks like it's actually part of the image. Um, so the effect doesn't really stick out. Um, uh, it, it makes it blend better. So, um, Next step is going to be to create the glows. So you're going to right click your blade one layer and say duplicate and then rename this uh, new layer glow one. Uh, then you're going to go to filters say blur, Gaussian blur and for this image we're going to try 20 and see how that looks. And 20 is perfect actually that, that looks really good. Um, so there's going to be two glow layers. There's going to be this small inner one, and then there's going to be a larger outer one. Um, and I found that layering the glows kind of helps give it this, uh, well, it gives it the ILM, you know, Star Wars look. It, it really does look pretty good. Um, so go to color balance here and uh, bring up your red values on midtones here. Drop down your green and blue. Go to shadows, do the same thing and play around with these until you get the color you want. So I'm gonna drag these down a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. I like that. And then click OK. So now you have your glow layer. Next step is to duplicate your glow layer. So you're gonna go to duplicate layer and select glow one copy, rename it glow two, just for organization's sake. Then you're gonna go filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and what I like to do, this is a little trick I found out, is since I originally used 20 as my original glow value, you just multiply it by 2 for your second layer. So for glow 2, we're going to do 40 instead of 20. And it spreads that glow out really evenly. Um, so it, it has this uh, professional look to it. It looks like something you'd see from ILM um, in their special effects department. So. That's basically how you do it. So I'm going to run through it again. Uh, I'm going to do Anakin's lightsaber now. And uh, 
I'll do it very quickly, but it's the same steps. So uh, what I want to do is just so I can clean up my um, list here, I'm going to right click and say flatten image. So now the red lightsaber can't be changed anymore. It's part of the background. So we're going to do the same thing for Anakin's lightsaber. So blade one, transparency, select all. I'm going to fill that with black. Um, select none. Go over here. Oh yeah, it's already blade one. Set this to screen. All right, I'm gonna zoom in on. Nope. Zoom in there. Okay. I'm gonna do the free select tool. Just kind of draw this here. It's a little sloppy, but it's okay. Um, and then fill that with white, making sure it's still on the blade layer. Select none. Gonna go filter, blur, Gaussian blur of one, just so we can match the pixels. All right, and we're gonna duplicate this layer and name it glow one. And filter, blur, Gaussian blur of 20. Okay, and colors. Let's give him a blue lightsaber, go to shadows first, bring these up. What I found for blue, um, depending on which movie you're trying to duplicate the effect of, for blue, it changes. Um, Star Wars Episode One had kind of a, a light blue for the blue lightsabers. Episode 2 was um, kind of the same. It, it was a little darker blue, and Episode 3 was very blue. Um, since this is an Episode 3 pick, we're going to go ahead and do a really dark blue. So go to midtones, do that. And this comes from years and years of being a Star Wars nerd. You just notice little things like how blue the lightsabers are. And spare time. Okay. And there's our first glow. I'm gonna duplicate that. Say filter blur, gosh and blur of 40. And it looks pretty good. I like that. Yeah, so that's the technique. Uh, that's how I do it. That's how a lot of special effects artists do it. Those who do uh, lightsaber effects, uh, flatten image, and then you just do your save as. Um, and uh, let's see if it's any better than it used to be. This is actually my first time using this new GIMP, so I'm going to save to my desktop. Um, let's save this as um, Sidious Anakin. And uh, select file type. That's about the same as it used to be. You have to go through and select your JPEG image. Uh, and then hit save. And then bring the quality up to 100 and click your save button and you're done. Um, so um, that should be right here. So I hope this tutorial has helped. Um, please uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, I'm going to be posting some more tutorials here soon for other little techniques I do. Some for video editing, some for special effects, um, stuff like that for video. Um, so I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for watching.